Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on a commission for a super sweet client who is looking for the Cindy Lauper version of her in her costume for the uh, Shebop video. So I'll be working on the costume, uh, particularly the skirt and pants in this video, as well as the face up and the hair styling. And stay tuned to the end for final looks and putting together, or putting together the final looks and the final look photo. So I picked up some fabric at Walmart that had a similar color scheme and pattern for what she had on in the video. And I chose the pattern pieces that I wanted from that fabric, but I also wanted this fringy end piece. So I'm using some heat bond to attach that to the end of the skirt. Using my flat iron to adhere that get that hot and melt the glue and then I add it to the other piece to make the bottom. I love using this heat bond for a lot of the clothes that I make because I don't the I feel like seeing a lot of stitches makes the clothes look a little off, off scale for the size of the dolls. So I like to use as little stitching as possible. So heat, bond, heat bond and heat and bond tape are really great for that. So I'm using my pants pattern to make some pants for her. She has a pair of like gold cropped pants from what I could tell. I watched the video about a million times. It was so fun to watch it again after a very, very long time. So I'm using some pinking shears to cut these out. It, it's really good to cut fabric, especially when you're making small pieces. With pinking shears, it helps them from fraying. Although this particular fabric, I don't think it would have frayed very much, but anyway. Um, this fabric was given to me by my sister. She purchased some curtains that she didn't like and she just gave them to me. So um, I guess the return policy had ran out before she took them back. So she just gave them to me and um, I've used them for several costumes since. So thank you, Megan. So I added some snaps to that and um, the skirt and I had a corset that I made with my standard corset process and gave her just a, like a shoulder strap on it. So you'll see that in the final looks at the end. So I was erasing a little bit. If you saw me erasing, it was just because I was erasing a little bit of dust that was on the nose and the chin. Sometimes it, when I spray the Mr. Super Clear, you, I usually go outside or always go outside to do that. And sometimes I'll come in and there's a little piece of maybe pollen or dust or something and, it, and it's hard to remove with, from the Mr. Super Clear, so I'll erase it or I'll use an X-Acto knife just to make sure that the face is clear before I get started. So I'm just doing some shading around the eyes. If you're a supporter over on Patreon, I have a close-up video in real time of, um, it's actually the 17-inch Cindy Lauper doll that I did. Uh, since it was really big, I thought it was a good opportunity to do a Patreon video where I show how I do the tear duct and waterline. I get a lot of questions on how I do that realistically, so I decided to do a special video for my patrons in real time to um, help them learn that. So. If you're interested in learning that or other things, check out my Patreon tiers. If you're a festival level and above, that video is available to you there. I developed my Patreon to be more geared towards learning and I have a lot of cool stuff planned for next month. The link to that is in my description box below. So I'm using pan pastels on the lips and for all of the shading. Thank you. 
So this particular look of Cindy's was really fun because she had some really cool eyeshadow. Um, so I was able to use a little bit of color on the eyeshadow. Sometimes she has more of a natural look, but this one I think she has blue, so we'll see here shortly. This probably would have been a really good one to do. use my Arteza pencils. I just recently got some Arteza pencils and did a video for that, so check that out if you haven't seen it. And spoiler alert, I really like those pencils. And I'll pop an affiliate link for that in the description box below as well. And if you haven't seen that video and you, you're not interested in watching it, um, just know that the Arteza videos are a very uh, inexpensive option for uh, for watercolor pencils when uh, using them on dolls because um, they work really well for me and so I would recommend them to, especially for beginners. So I'm just going in with these two particular colors of blue in Pan Pastel and blending them. And just about every action that I do, I'll go back in after I seal it and do another layer. I'm using a bit of black to kind of smoke out the corners of the outer outer corners of the eye and darken up the crease and then carrying that color down to the bottom lash line a little bit kind of like you're doing a really cool makeup on yourself I kind of do that on the doll adding a little blush Sometimes it doesn't take very well to the doll, so I use some colorless blender to blend it out. Just depends on how the Mr. Super Clear layers are working. Sometimes if it's a little humid outside, it doesn't work as well. I've heard of other people having terrible difficulties where the Mr. Super Clear just doesn't work at all for them in certain kinds of weather. I haven't had that happen. Sometimes I just have to work a little bit harder when, I, when I'm painting. But so far, knock on wood, I have had good luck with the weather and how it impacts the ceiling. And I've actually been, like, I've, I've traveled full time, so um, we've actually been in Florida, like, but mainly in the south, but we've been in Tampa in the middle of the summer, and I still didn't have an issue. And it's been, you know, zero degree weather, so when it's really cold, I think that I've had more issue then, but it still has worked pretty well. Anyway, so I, I, I'm not sure what to tell those who have had some really terrible trouble. I'm sorry, and I, I guess I hope that I don't encounter that. <laughs> So shaping up the lips with some Crimson Lake uh, watercolor pencil from Derwent and then adding a little bit of dark with the Faber-Castell on the upper lip. I tend to like to make my upper lip darker and then add a highlight to my bottom lip. It's kind of my style. But that's also kind of following like art rules. Usually the upper lip is darker and there's a highlight on the bottom lip so it's not really mine. adding another layer of some eyeshadow color and blending it out a little bit with some white and I'm wanting to do some extra shading on the upper eyelid oh sorry I'm sorry I'm adding the eyebrows I didn't even realize what I was doing there but um, I'm using this terracotta color, or bird sienna, sorry, bird sienna color to give her some eyebrows. And so I was just marking out where the eye eyebrow was going to land, the arch and the, the beginning and end. Mainly because I didn't want to have to do a lot of erasing. I had just done that eyeshadow and haven't sealed it yet, so 
I didn't want to do too much erasing and ruin the eyeshadow that I just did, but I am erasing under the eyebrow line to give some separation there. Then I'm adding some um, little hairs to the eyebrows with some with this Prismacolor. This video, I guess I made this doll a really long time ago because I'm using my Prismacolor for my fine lines and I really like to use my Faber-Castell and I went for, through a period that I didn't have the Faber-Castell pencils, but I've got those back thanks to a gift I received. So I was having a lot of fun with the eyeshadow. <laughs> And this was one of my favorite Cindy's, I think. I don't know. It's hard to choose. I've done so many now. Um, and I think it seems like I have another. I may have one or two others that I've done that I haven't even posted a video for. Um, she's really popular. A lot of uh, clients reached out to me once I posted the first couple because she has a huge fan base and they're all super nice people. It's amazing, it really says a lot about her when her fan base is so incredibly kind. But um, I've done so many and I'm looking forward to doing more. But she's, she's one of my favorites. I don't know, it's hard to say which one I like best though. I really, really enjoy making Cindy Lauper dolls. <laughs> I could do them all the time. She has so many fun looks. So she had these stripes in her eyeshadow, so I added those with some black Prismacolor watercolor pencil. And I'm mixing my pan pastel colors on a paper towel. Sometimes I'll just take a little bit of color from each pan if I want it lighter or darker, add a little bit of white or a different color. I just do a little bit of mixing and I usually use my paper towel a lot. So I know this is kind of a long video and I probably could have sped this up a little bit more, but um, I get mixed reviews. Some people like to see the it slowed down a little bit and then I have others that complain about the videos being too long. So let me know what you guys think. Are my videos too long or do you prefer them slowed down? So I'm adding her green eyes. The first Cindy I did, I gave her blue eyes because I looked on the internet and um, I did a search for what color are Cindy Lauper's eyes and there was a, the first thing that came up was a, an article saying that she had blue eyes. And then the first commission Cindy I did, they told me her eyes were green and I was shocked because I had looked up and saw that they were blue. And then I looked it up again, and sure enough, it still said blue. So it's really hard to trust the internet. You have to look at a lot of pictures before I work on the eyes to make sure that I'm getting them right. But she definitely has green eyes. And that's one thing that my um, YouTube audience likes to tell me what that I'm wrong about <laughs> is when I get the eyes wrong and it's uh, it's always hard. I always look it up and then I sometimes get it wrong just because of what I find online. So 
So I'm giving her some highlights. I spent an extra, extra lot of time on her face up, I think, because I just had a really nice time with it. So onto the hair, I rooted her hair with some um, copper alpaca yarn and then the piece on the side, I used some ivory alpaca for her short side. So I just separated it out and I'm giving, adding a little bit of this unscented gel and flat ironing it with my mini flat iron. So the reason that I did the ivory on the side for this particular video, she had sort of like a bleached outside of her hair and then um, she doesn't always have the checkerboard. I think she had that, I know she had it in the time after time video, but um, she changed her hair a lot. But she had sort of a bleached out, in the Shebop video she had sort of a bleached outside and then the rest was the like orangey red. So giving her her classic bangs. In the first Cindy that I did, the client was like, I, I, I did a hairstyle that I guess I kind of tried to update it a little bit or something because I didn't give her her bangs and the client was like, where are her bangs? And I was like, oh, <laughs> she did have bangs. So I cut them and styled them and I'm so glad that I did because I've done that on all the dolls that I've done of her since and it just really makes the look, I think, giving her some 80s bangs. I'm using my razor to give her a razor cut, make it really choppy and layered. spend a lot of time on the hairstyles in particular where, like this where I have to thin out what I've rooted and um, just make it really choppy and precision style it. Now I'm putting together the final look. So uh, if you guys like this video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody has a great day. If you're interested in the commission, I will be reopening my commissions at the end of June. So contact me via email or direct message. I don't respond to requests for um, commissions in the comments section. I need those direct to me if you don't mind. So uh, feel free to reach out and let me know what you're looking for. I'll be happy to give you a quote. No judgment. My prices are a little bit high, but if you're, um, if you're not sure if you can afford it, don't worry about not telling me that you, don't worry about telling me that you can't afford it. I don't mind um, giving a price quote to whoever's interested. So feel free to contact me. Hope that makes sense. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye.